Hello and welcome to the Technique and Supply Review for Infection Prevention and how it applies to all the skills that we perform when taking care of our patients. Infection prevention has some critical points within the process when performing skills. One of the most important is hand washing. You want to make sure that you wash your hands before you touch a patient when you're completely done with the patient. And there are times that I'll point out when you're going into clean supplies, coming back to the patient care, touching anything dirty, grabbing a garbage can, stuff like that, that you'll want to make sure that you stop and realize when you need to use um, good hand washing practices. You must clean and disinfect your work area. It's important for you to do this, not just lay down a paper towel, which is certainly doable for you to kind of indicate what area that you're going to work in, but you must clean and disinfect the surface first. A paper towel is very porous and those germs can come up through that paper towel. You want to set up your sterile field correctly and make sure that once you apply sterile gloves, you remain sterile. Some nurses are used to having both hands sterile. That's my technique. Some nurses are used to one hand being dominant and sterile and one non-dominant being non-sterile. Whatever your technique, you want to practice it and make sure that you have it down where you do not touch a patient's area that's only supposed to be touched with a sterile glove with an unsterile one. The nurse and patient must always wear a mask. That's very important because when you have a patient that's breathing anywhere near a site that you've exposed to do your dressing change, it's um, important that they don't breathe on there um, or get anything um, from the air on that site. So have them wear a mask. Your aseptic technique is anything under a cap or cover you don't touch and there are certain things like the end caps that you would wipe with alcohol um, in a certain way that we will review and that's going to allow you to connect without exposing the patient to germs. Appropriate disposal of the soiled items in a sharps container. Um, we'll go over a few techniques um, in order to be able to do that. Anything sharps related or has bodily fluids on it, of course, is going to go in the sharps container that we provide. Infusion Nurses Society really um, did a wonderful job this past um, year when they put out their new standards of practice. And in their infection prevention and in their DME standard, it addresses how we as infusion nurses should be making sure our patients, the equipment we use in between patients, is cleaned and disinfected um, between use. And we educate our patients on safe ways to clean and disinfect routinely the equipment that we provide for them. So whether it's an infusion pump or a pole or a blood pressure cuff, um, those things need to be routinely cleaned and should not just be left with the patient for months or however long they're on service without them being able to do that. So make sure you include the new INS standards of practice in your everyday skill set. Thank you for joining me.